Good day everyone. Airbus are going to release a new plane, which could affect the aerospace field. They called it the Airbus A321XLR. This could be the best new plane that is going to be released and we're going to talk about it. If you are new here, subscribe to receive quick updates about aviation. The plane was first announced in June 2019. After three years, the first flight of the new aircraft was scheduled to take place on Wednesday the 15th of June 2022. People believe that the new plane will surprise the aerospace field with its performance. Let's first talk about the name of the plane. The word XLR means extra long range. The A321 XLR is the successor of the A321 LR. LR stands for long range. The A321 LR was announced in 2018. The flying time of this aircraft was 9 hours. The big change is the nautical miles. The A321 LR can travel 4,000 nautical miles or 4,603 miles. However, the A321 XLR can travel 4,700 nautical miles which is 5,408 miles. This plane was known as the longest narrow body plane. The new plane has a 11-hour flying time, which is better than the Airbus A320. The Airbus A321 XLR is not suitable for long flights like what the A320 Neos do. Since the test flight on the 15th of June, Airbus have accumulated 500 orders of the plane. Qantas, United Airline, Air Canada and other airlines have ordered the plane. Here's the bad things about the new plane. The fuel consumption is 30% worse compared to the previous generation aircraft. Another bad thing about the plane is the design. The design of the A321 XLR was poor at protecting the passengers within the plane in case of an external fire. It also doesn't give the passengers, cabin crew and pilots enough time to evacuate in case of a crash. This is a very important factor as this could affect the lives of millions of passengers and the people who board the aircraft. Now, back to the good things about the plane. Airbus have began to make more single-aisle planes rather than twin-aisle aircrafts. Airbus make more single-aisle aircrafts because it gives airlines the efficiency and versatility and allows the airline to fly more profitably. Let's now talk about the price of the aircraft. As the A321neo and the A321XLR are similar, the price will be similar. Some people believe it will be priced between $129 and $142 million. Some Boeing customers are shifting to Airbus to replace their 757s with the XLRs. Do you think the Airbus A321XLR will be successful in the aerospace field? See you in the next video.